Hi, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to check the description to this video. I have links to some of my popular videos, a link to my Amazon account for a lot of things that you all ask about. Don't forget I have a bunch of playlists on the homepage of this channel. Thank you. It's that time of evening again. We gotta get all our stuff ready for tomorrow. Let's see. We're gonna get some of this breakfast pork. Big, big spoon. Uh, yeah, that, no, let me just do a little more. Okay. So, I'll take me some pork. Let's see how much it is I'm taking. Because if I were, if I were a measuring gal, which I should be sometimes, let's see what we're looking at. 48 grams. So, 48 grams of ground beef, or ground pork. So, if anybody wants to check and see how that goes. We can know what my breakfast is. I'm, I'm just not. So got that. Now we need two eggs. Used to I used to do three eggs, but and I also I think I did two eggs and a yogurt. And now I've cut out the yogurt and added some meat. So no reason. There's nothing wrong with this. Just kind of, you know. Sometimes you just change things up in life. So there's our breakfast for tomorrow. Now, I tell y'all, you know, I pull out what is stacked on top of each other. Let's see what my options are for tomorrow. Oh, another pork loin with some onions. That was good. I had that today at lunch. Or <clears throat> this. Now, let me tell you, some of you all have asked me, Terry, what do you do whenever you don't really want what you made? Well... Let, let, let me show you. Let me show you what I do. You just hold right there. Let me show you what I do. That's what I do. I put in a Ziploc baggie. And I uh, toss it in the trash can. Because I'm not in the mood for these tomorrow. So, that's what I do when I, when, yeah, that's what I do. So, now, I'm going to transfer this beef over to that side. But I'm not going to make you watch. Hang on. Okay, so I got over here. I'm kind of mushing it up just a little bit. I just don't want to dirty up another dish. So I'm just going to use this one again. And this is what we're going to do with it. We're going to make us a Asian something or another. Asian something or another. Which, of course, calls for sesame seeds because, uh, yeah, texture. And it also calls for... Let's see, we got some G. Hugh stir fry. Let me get this open. Hang on. Now, it calls for a little bit of G. Hugh stir fry. Alrighty. Little uh, Walden Farm sesame ginger. We're just juicing up the meat. We're not adding any vegetables to it because I'm going to have a salad. And then some, this Thai sweet chili sauce. This is still the one Zana sent me from Texas. Our Walmart now carries this brand. So since I can't get my, ooh, that's a little bit much. Since I can't get my G. Hughes brand, I'll be using that one. And some fish sauce. This kind of replaces soy sauce. All right. So that's going to do that. Now, I got to get some salad dressing and stuff. Hang on just a second. Now, we've got to flip over our salad. Remember, I made these on Saturday. So, we're going to take off our little paper towel. It's doing a good job. It's wet, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, I'm going to try not to add too many of these pickled veggies. But I just get going and I can't stop. So, I can't help it. Ooh, I'm going to add a little of that juice down in there, too. I just, I just can't stop myself. They're just a dadgum good. All right, so listen. Song of tonight. There is, y'all, I listen to K-Love. So, let me tell y'all. I love music. I grew up in a musical family. 
My mom went to college to teach like music to like grade school kids. And my dad was a band director. So music has always been a part of my life. Like I grew up going to listen to the city band as when my dad was directing it. And so <clears throat> I grew up just singing. And now I'm not saying I'm a great singer. I played the trombone just so you know. Um, I played the trombone in, in uh, from sixth grade. No, no, no. We started eighth grade. Eighth grade all the way up through high school. Or do we start seventh? Yeah, seventh and eighth grade. And then all the way up through high school. So anyway, um, I played the trombone. But so I like singing. I'm not on key half the time. But mostly that's because a lot of songs are too high for me. But I can sing on pitch if it's low enough. But if it's too high, then I, then I can't sing on pitch so well. Because then I can't hit the notes. Um, anyway, but the song that I've been singing is... Um, it's from Caleb, and it's Go tell the world about me Cause how I died and now I live I've gotta go now for a little while Goodbye is not the end of the road Something, something Where I'll be with you wherever you go Go Tell the world about me. I was dead, but now I live. I'm gonna go now for a little while. Goodbye is not the end. That's a song about Jesus. Okay. So now listen. From a salad. You know, we did Asian flavors, okay? So now what I'm thinking is, have you ever been to a restaurant? Oh, poop. I put it away. Hang on. Have you ever been to a restaurant and it's one of those places with the Japanese places where they cook it up in front of you and then you get that salad? Well, that salad has some kind of ginger something or another dressing. Well, I don't like this by itself. I say that. I should. I don't think I do. I don't remember. Nah, I don't want it just by itself. But, but, we know I'm all about mixing and zhuzhing. I'm going to do this because the one, you know, at, at ours, it has the color of Thousand Island, but it's got a ginger flavor. So we're going to mix them up, y'all. We're getting kind of wild and fancy free here. Foot loose and fancy free. All right. Nope. Don't lick it, Terry. Don't lick it. I did good, y'all. I didn't lick it. Now... <clears throat> Since I'm going for an Asian flavor, if you, if you know me, you know what I forgot to season this with. Oh, who are we kidding? I put that seasoning on everything. It don't matter. I put it on dog poop. I need some Greek seasoning. There's just something about Greek seasoning that goes really well, pairs really well with the Asian, with the Asian flavor. Oh, adobo. <laughs> Adobo goes really well with it, too. And a little smoked paprika, too. Uh -huh. You guys, I'm not right. But you know what? Who is right? I'm not right. I don't want to be right. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Okay. So, we have our Asian beef. It's going to go in here. We got our salad. I'll tell you something else I've been doing with, you know, with this breakfast. Dad gum, I get hungry by 10.30 whether I eat a lot or a little. So I'm like, well, fine. Oh, sookie. You know what I forgot? Sookie, sookie now. Hang on. Apple. That's a little apple. That's a piddly apple, so I'm taking two. Just accept it, y'all. All right. So there it is. That's my breakfast lunch. I gotta go now for a little while, but goodbye is not the end. Okay, bye. Look what I bought. I want to try these. So we're gonna put just a few in this little container, cause then I don't have to worry about it turning. I have no idea how this is gonna work, but we're gonna just put. Wait a minute. A serving is fifty grams. 
Let's just see. Let's see what 50 grams looks like. You just hold your horses. You just settle down there, fella. Settle down. If this video is too long, it'll be all right. Mm, that's half. Let's do, let's do 25 grams first because this may be nasty. We might be like, mm, mm, girl, never again. So we don't want to take too much and waste it. But when I was eating the avocado, I liked it with some uh, of the everything bagel. So we'll just put a little scoop of that in there. And that'll be that. Now I'm going to put a lid on it. And I'm going to put this in my container too. So we will try this tomorrow. We'll see what we think. Okay, bye. Hey, it is breakfast time. And I have my eggs as usual. Oh, and we are also going to do that frozen avocado. I'm going to see about chopping that up a little bit. And see the texture of it. Let's see. I'm just kind of chopping it up with my spoon here. Yeah, let's see how it looks. Hang it down so you can look into it. So that's how it looks. So now let's taste it. Because I ain't tasting the eggs because they're too hot. Sure enough. Frozen avocado. Who knew? You knew. Because y'all are the ones that told me. Anyway, so I'm having this in my eggs. Okay, bye. It's, oh, you're over there. <laughs> I flipped it. Um, it's lunchtime, and I have my Asian-inspired ground beef. Yup. Sorry, I always lay my phone this way, and today I lay it this way. So I'm trying to remember to look over here, but I'm used to looking right over there. And my salad. My cabbage salad. I know some of y'all have asked me why I use cabbage. Cabbage just stay dang it, there you're over there. Cabbage stays crunchy. So I made these five days ago or um on Saturday. Hear that crunch? They stay crunchy. And for me. My experience is the cabbage stays fresher longer too. So that's why I love it. And I like the flavor of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today's Tuesday, Wednesday. You'll see this Thursday. I don't know if you all remember whenever I bought one pound. Like I bought one pound of the different meats and the crop uh, and the chickens. Um, I bought one pound of the ground stuff, and then I cooked it up to see how much of like how much actual meat was left at the end of it. So I was digging through my um, digging through my old videos, and I can't find it. Evidently, I labeled it as a meal prep. Not smart, Terry of the past. So I was thinking maybe this weekend I could do it, but then label it so that way I know what it is. I'm going to keep digging and if I find the video, I won't do it. But um, anyway, um, <clears throat> because again, somebody asked me today about chicken and I just, I, I just you lose so much of it whenever I would ground chicken. So anyway, so I might, I might try that. I might, um, I might do that this weekend. Um, we'll see if I can't find the video. I might do that this weekend just to. Because we know I have plenty of food, um, so I don't really need to do a full meal prep. But that might be something kind of fun um, to do again and, and have the different crock pots out and see how much each amount of, of actual edible meat each one produces. And maybe I'll put the same amount of water, like maybe one cup of water in each one of them. So that way it all starts the same. So we'll see. Okay, bye. So here's a quick little rundown of the day. Um, I left work and went to the, the visitation and saw my friend. And then <clears throat> mom is having some, uh, she was having some iPhone, watch, iPad issues. Can, they weren't just, not everything was not syncing right. So I went over there. I knew I was gonna go. I knew I was gonna go to the visitation. So what I did, <clears throat> I had a protein shake. I, you know, I used my this stuff. I used I used one serving, a full serving, um, in a in a you know in my 
coffee thing that I usually use, my shaker cup. I use one serving, and then I sipped around on that um, about 3.30 till 4.30, and then I went on to the viewing, then I went to Mom's, and it's 6.30 now, and I'm hungry, just a second. So I've heated up my supper. It is the onions and uh, pork, pork loin, pork chops. So I'm gonna be eating this and some fruit. I like the frozen fruit better. Anyway. It's cold. So it's cold on my tea first. Anyway, so it's 6.30, I'm hungry. I ain't got a song for you. Here's one. Turn up the radio. Give me some music. I need some more. Turn up the radio. Okay, that's all you're going to get. I got to make this quick. So, all right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.